On and on he goes. Chance to finish. And it goes. And that could be the goal that allows them to say, job done. pre-match chatter about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. Great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's up. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Issa Jop in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match. And it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Chance to cross. It's driven in low. Rice. Well, just went a bit too early. Off he just has that knack of finding space in the box. And the oh, surely. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Kurt Zuma. Rice with it. Well, for West Ham United, a very good victory in the last game against Burnley. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, to go away from home and win was a good result for them in a really entertaining game. But today will be much harder for them. If they play with energy and resilience, I think they're going to draw out of this game. Arsenal have given it away. Technique displayed. Cuts it back. And it's come off the keeper. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. For Niles. Well, can they be creative from here? Space and time for the cross. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Tierney Lokonga Kieran Tierney Rice Oh dear Not a great effort was it
Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Oh, good use of the ball. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Short corner taken. Thomas Partey. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Kurt Zuma. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Martin Odegaard. Albert Sam. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Well, they're going for the short one. The chance might be on for him. Chambers. The supporters want to see him have a go. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Playing it short. Moy Gomez. And the upshot of that is... Well timed tackle. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Fredericks. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. Playing with purpose and control. Antonio! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, as the replay shows us, it's a decent first effort, but he's so quick to get onto the rebound. That's a good finish. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Substitution for West Ham United. Coming off the pitch. Obama Yang. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. It has been a very big story in all the major media outlets. Mateo Kovacic could be on his way to Milan. Yes, this has been going on for some time now, so no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we'll... Oh, he's given the ball away. Moy Gomez. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Leeds United. And he's got to clear his lines. On a time for composure on the ball. Antonio Benda It is a decent looking attack here Yarmolenko Oh, did so well to deny him Rice with it Moving into the advanced position 
Yamalenko and thwarted there following the cross. Bender. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So, 2-0 now. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Obama Yang. Good technique displayed. Cross fired over. No way through. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Tierney. Could play it in. And firing it to the near post. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Bender. They get maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Issa Jock in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kick-off. For Niles. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. nil then and there's been a change to the scoreline in the City game Alex Scott has the news it's a 
goal for Leicester City. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. This could square the game. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. To confirm, Leicester have scored in that game and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. A super tackle and they've won possession. Suchek. With 13 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Diallo. Now Origi. Origi. Has eyes for goal. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Mohamed Salisu, Oriol Romeu, and the emphasis is on creativity. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. He's given it straight to the opposition. He's in control of the situation. It looks pretty in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Benda. Well, they know they need to stop him. Well, wow, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And now the delivery. Well, he took care of it defensively. Antonio. He might be able to do damage from here. Gonna get a try. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. The past his man. Oh, a good diving save. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Superb block. Got a goal to update you on. It's gone in on the City game, and Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal from Manchester City. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. It's now 2-1 with 48 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Moving it forward. They will make the change now. Who can they pick out? Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. This looks promising. Devo on the ball. Surely the equaliser. Blocking it. One block after another. And an opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one. Taken short. Yeah. 
And news of a goal at the top. Nathan Redmond. Oriol Romeu. The ball with James Ward Prowse. Romeu. Origi. Superb block. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Declan Rice. This looks more than decent. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. It may just turn out to be the winner, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Antonio under real pressure defensively will they pay the price and a really powerful effort but just over the top here it is now a substitution Romain Perrault Origi, and that's great work to keep it in play. And there goes the final whistle. There's no doubt about it. The Hammers are happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today.